Hey everybody, it's uh, Rob T and BC. Yes, it's me, it's SG Dad from the Spectrum Gamer ET channel. Um, I am going to be playing some Planet Side Two. I've never played it, and this is uh, character creation, so it's kind of boring. But let's give it a go. Um, so I can be Vanu Sovereignty, New Conglomerate, or Terran Republic. Now, Terran Republic sounds very earthy and like New Earth. So. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to go Terran Republic and next. Okay. So this is server ping rates. Okay, I'll pick the best ping rate. Why not? Next. Okay, I can pick who I want to look like. Oh, he looks surprised and scared. Um, yeah, let's be a dude. Okay, so Rob T in BC. Okay, so let me go. Let's crack on with this. Excuse me while I have a drink. Alright, Planet Side 2, the VR tutorial zone. Yay! Oh, there's a deep thrum in my ears, so hopefully it's gonna be good. I'm not really into FPS or so first person shooters, but this seemed to have a bit of a story attached. And I Welcome, did. Private. This is a virtual reality training area designed to get you up to speed on combat on Araxis. There are no consequences in this area, so it's all right to make mistakes. Okay. Take as much time. Use uh, your movement keys to move forward, backward, and sidestep to the left or to the right. Well, I'm going to make plenty of mistakes. Use the mouse to turn and to look up and down. The jump key is used to hurdle battlefield obstacles, but jumping greatly reduces weapon accuracy. Okay, so how do I get under here? Crouch? Oh, yeah. The crouch key can be used to duck down and make yourself a smaller target. Holding down the sprint key while moving will... This gravity pad lets you move up and down and do it quickly. Simply step on the pad and you will ascend or descend in the direction of the flowing particles. Like it. Capture and hold these points to take control of the region. A successful uplink must be maintained in order to complete the transfer of control. So lock those points down. How do I do that? This energized shield has IFF properties that only allow authorized infantry units to pass through. Okay, so I can pick who I want to be. Whoa. Okay, maybe light assault. Change appearance. Can't do much there. Um, uh, Walk up to an equipment terminal and interact with it to change classes. Interact with an equipment terminal, then select the class you'd like to use on the left side of the menu. To equip that class, click the resupply button. Try changing classes to a combat medic. Okay, combat medic. Your weapons are just as dangerous to your teammates as they are to the enemy. So it is essential you learn how to identify friend from foe. By default, your teammates all have friendly blue triangle indicators above their heads, and their names show up when you point your crosshair near them. Enemy players do not have any indicators above them unless they are spotted. Okay. Press the spot key while you have an enemy in your crosshair to mark them for yourself and for nearby friendly players. Stay alert! Enemy heavy nearby! The simplest form of shooting is hip fire, where you shoot without careful aim. The area between your crosshair ticks shows where your shots will land when you fire your weapon. 
This area is referred to as your cone of fire. Try shooting some targets using hip fire. <laughs> you can also aim down the sights of your weapon by right clicking on your mouth. This will greatly improve accuracy, but I kind of like the tutorial. Mouth. It's uh headshots will do more damage to your target, especially if you are using a high-powered sniper rifle. Try shooting some targets while aiming down sights. You will automatically reload your weapon when you empty the magazine. You can reload before the magazine is empty using the reload key. You can switch weapons and items by pressing your weapon slot key or by scrolling the mouse wheel. Switching to your pistol is faster than reloading your primary weapon. The use ability key is used by some classes to activate their special class defining ability, such as the cloaking device for the infiltrator, the shield for heavy assault, or the group heal for the combat medic. Take some time to get comfortable with shooting and familiarize yourself with your weapons and classes. I think light assault is all I'm going to do right now. It's a close to medium range skirmisher that has a jetpack for extreme mobility and can quickly flank enemy positions. I have a jetpack. Kind of like orders it. provide quick transportation within the facility. Step on the pad to begin the process. Death is inevitable, but there are many ways to get back into the fight. Every friendly facility has a protected spawn room where you can prepare before moving out. Thunderer vehicles can also be equipped with a mobile spawn capability. So, so far, I'm kind of liking it. Deploy back to a friendly facility using the redeploy mechanism. Use redeploy to respawn at this facility. Okay. Okay. Infantry aren't your only threat. Our outdoor range also has vehicle targets. Most vehicles are resistant to small arms fire, and some, like tanks, are completely immune. For these threats, you have to use rocket launchers and other more powerful ordnance. Hmm. The heavy assault is the class most well suited for dealing with enemy vehicles. Go to an equipment terminal and switch out to the heavy assault class. Okay, we'll do. Switch to your rocket launcher and use it to blow up an enemy vehicle. Tanks have strong front armor, but are more vulnerable on the sides and rear. Move you around the facility quickly. If you step 
respond to the pad. You will be jettisoned at high velocity in the direction the pad is pointing. An inertial dampener is in place to allow for a safe landing. Thrust pad, where? Is this it? This thrust pad will move you around the facility quickly. If you step onto the pad, you will be jettisoned at high velocity in the direction the pad is pointing. An inert vehicle terminals are where you can create your own vehicles for your use. There are many types of vehicles available, from quads to tanks to large transport aircraft. Interact with the ground vehicle terminal. Hmm. Okay, we'll do. What objective? Whoa. This nanite ammunition depot can quickly resupply ammunition for all types of ground vehicles. Ammunition is replicated directly into the vehicle's weapon system, so no manual interaction is needed. Secure this objective! This energized shield has IFF properties that only allow authorized vehicles to pass through. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I drove that thing through, so maybe this I need type to. Of generator maintains power to the perimeter shield, ah. preventing ground vehicles from breaching the facility. Hold E to overheat the generator. Okay, <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Warp gate terminals allow long-range transportation for infantry units. It allows a soldier to travel to any linked location in an instant. Mm. Okay, well, let's go there. Okay, I think I'm done the tutorial. So let's let's see what we got. I kind of like it. <clears throat> Might be like a, a casual play thing. When, when I'm not playing something else and just want to have some quick action. Hi, how's it going? I don't know where I'm going now. I think there might be bad guys over there. Hmm, let's see. I'm just running and running and running. Okay, I don't know what to do. I'm just running and running and running now. That seems to be the edge of the shield, so I probably can't go through here, but maybe I can. Maybe this puts me into into combat. Let's see. Okay, yeah, now I'm outside the shield. I gotta capture that thing. Oh, cool. I 
I don't seem to be getting fatigued. Oh, I hear a vehicle. Friendly, okay. What the heck did they do? They just seemed to fall out of the sky. Let's see if there's any survivors. Oh. Okay. I don't think there's any survivors in that one. Oh, that was hilarious. Okay. I'm closing in. Oh, I hear some noise. I've ran a long way. Excuse me while I just ask Google what time it is. Hey Google, what time is it? Hey Google, set an alarm for 3 o'clock. Hey Google, did you just set an alarm for three o'clock? <laughs> what is that up there? Oh, that's one of my guys. They're gone. Wonder if I should use cover. Probably should, right? Okay, I'm thinking maybe there's not many players in this game anymore. Don't know what I'm shooting at. Cool. Okay, well, closing in. Not a bad game, works well on my computer. I'm pretty happy with it. What's this?
What the heck? How do I fire this thing? I guess I didn't want to do that, right? <laughs> I just jumped out of it. Oh, and I guess I can't get it up to it, can I? No. Oh, I can. I can use my thrusters. I don't know how to fly one of these things. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, the cat's arrived. Oh, no. Stay frosty. This fight is all but won. I didn't shoot one person. Oh! Yeah, apparently I got shot. <laughs> Just place a bounty on him. Why not? I don't know what that means, but we'll do it. Now what? Deploy. Get into the fight now. Caught it. 
Oh, I got XP. Nice. Oh, what's this? Come on, get me up there. This area is restricted. I don't know what happened to me. Oh, I got out of combat zone. Okay. Alright, now I need to <laughs> back in there. Deploy. What is this? Hmm, one sec. Hey Google, what time is it? Oh my goodness, it's three o'clock. That is crazy. I can't believe it's three o'clock already. Hey Google, stop. I really have no clue what I'm doing. But that's okay. Yeah, this is quite a cool game. I quite like it. Wow. Oh, is that a good guy? Yeah, I think he's on my side. He's got a blue thing above him, right? I have lots of shooting and stuff, I just don't see anyone shooting. actually hitting him I guess I got him, right? Oh. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, I kind of like the game. I think I'm done for now. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, look at that. Allow access. Yes. Allow.